Hey, hey everybody, I'm Sean Mullen from RampantDesignTools.com, and today I'd like to show you how to composite smoke effects into your shot using Adobe After Effects. Now we get a lot of questions in YouTube and Twitter and we love hearing from you, so keep on sending your questions and hitting us up with any kind of questions that you have. One of our most common questions happen to be, hey, I got your smoke on 4kfree.com, or hey, I bought your smoke pack and it looks cool, but when I blend it, it doesn't look right. What am I doing wrong? Well, it's not really a matter of doing anything wrong, it's just a function of thinking a little bit differently about how you're blending practical elements. So let's go ahead and jump into After Effects, but before I do, just like all of our other tutorials, you do not need anything to follow along with our tutorials. You don't have to buy anything. Head on over to 4kfree.com and grab as many of our free effects as you want, including smoke, and we're giving away the good stuff. I'm talking 4K, we're not giving away any of that low res stuff, I'm giving you high quality 4K stuff straight from our library that you can follow along. And it includes our awesome smoke elements. So go ahead and head on over there, grab the stuff, and then jump into our tutorial with us. All right, so enough from me, let's head on over to After Effects. Now, I'm using After Effects CC 2014. You do not need that in order to follow along. You can use any version of After Effects. Uh, this is very simple, and uh, I think you're gonna love what you see. All right, so I have this cool alley shot, right? And maybe my director or my producer is like, I need to add more atmosphere, I need to make it more more uh, dramatic, more funky, and that's cool. And the real simple way to do that is to add real smoke to a real shot. So what do I, how do I do that? I'm gonna go ahead and grab a clip from our library, right here, and I'm using clip number two from our 4K smoke library. I'm just gonna drag it down into our timeline. And as you can see, as I scrub through here, you got this really cool smoke effect and um, nice big amount of fog. I'll double click on it real quick. I'll scrub through it, or zoom out just a little bit and you've got this really cool fog effect. 100% real. And so what would I naturally do? Well, most people would naturally go to the blend mode, just like most of our stuff, and go from mode from normal to, well, let's go to screen. It's like, wow, hmm, that's interesting. As I scrub through this and I hit, I'll even hit preview, and you're like, well, yeah, I got smoke here, but yeah, you're right. It doesn't quite look right. It looks strange. Like, why is it so bright? And what happened to my shot? I mean, if you look over here, this is really bright. I mean, the smoke is defined, so, I, you know, I, I see the smoke, but it's not really what I'm looking for. Maybe I should switch the mode from screen to add. Oof. Well, that's not a good idea. Look at this. That's like nuclear here. It's like, I don't, I don't know what's happening. You know, my client would never be happy with that. So what, what am I doing wrong? Well, the thing is with, with real smoke is it's not a light. So you're not trying to blend it. The idea is to push something through it in order to get the smoke elements off of the black background and into yours. You're still blending, but you're doing it in a different way. So let's go ahead and turn this layer off real quick. Go back to our video layer. Let's go under Layer, New, Solid. Now, make sure if, you're, if your box comes over your video here, just move the dialog box up and over so you can see what you're doing. And then take your eyedropper tool and find a color in the shot that you want to kind of blend and, and uh, make the smoke blend better into the shot. Personally, I like this sandy, you know, kind of deserty feel right here. So I'm going to pick this, but you can pick any color in the shot. So now you've got this kind of pale, pale yellow, pale orange uh, solid on your shot. You're like, well, what am I doing here? Let's go over to the track mat and switch it from none to luma mat. Now, basically what I'm doing is I'm pushing this yellow through any luminance values of the smoke, meaning if it's white in the smoke, in the smoke element right here, if it's a lighter value that's not black, the color is going to push through. If it's a black or darker value, the color is not going to push through. And this is going to be uh, based all on transparency here. So the brighter the value, the stronger the transparency. The darker the value, the least the transparency. It's uh, just luminance. That's all it is. Fancy term for transparency. So you're pushing the color through. So now it's like, wow, wait a second. That looks a lot better. If I uh, duplicate this layer real quick and I turn it back on to our blend mode, I go to screen and I take a picture here and I compare it to our blended shot and I go back and forth you notice a significant difference notice first of all this area over here isn't getting any brighter I'm not adjusting the luminance of my shot I'm blending the smoke properly without affecting the shot itself beneath it well that's kind of cool that's that's already way better let's go ahead and hit preview And as you see, I automatically have this kind of dusty, dirty fog in the shot, and I'm not adjusting the luminance values of my clip beneath it. So it's actually properly composite. It's like, oh wow, that looks a lot better. But what am I missing? What's, what's not quite right? Well, the thing is, 
When you're walking through smoke or a fog and, you, and, and it's in front of you or it's in front of the camera, it's actually gonna block a little bit of your vision and it's gonna block a little bit of light. So how do we simulate that here in the box? Obviously this is a smoke element on top of footage. So how do I make it so it blends properly and takes it up that extra level that's, that sells it and adds a little bit more realism? Well, my solution here is go ahead and click on the, the video layer right here on the bottom and go under Effect, Blur, Compound Blur. Now the first thing you're gonna see is this like weird tune it looking effect. And that's cool, but that's not what we're trying to do here. So let's go ahead and first set the blur layer from the video layer to our smoke. All right, that's better, but again, still way too much blur. And let's dial this back. Let's go to, I don't know, three. Oh, okay, now, now it's starting to look better. Maybe three is a little much. You can play with, along, play around with it to, to really get what you're looking for. Maybe uh, two is good. Let's go ahead and hit preview. Well, interesting. Now I get a more defined smoke because the smoke is closer to the camera than this hallway would be. So the hallway and the backgrounds and everywhere that's being affected by the smoke is a little bit out of focus, and which allows the smoke to pop just a little bit without affecting the luminance values. Now you might be saying, well, I find that it's so hard to see. How, how do I know what that's actually happening or not? Go ahead and turn off the blur. And you can see this is all very sharp. And if you turn it back on, it's a little bit softer. Now go ahead and dial that to whatever you like. If you, if you go crazy, obviously you're not going to see anything. You know, go, any, go anywhere from, you know, 0.25, which is not very much, all the way to, I don't know, 3 or 4. I think 4 is a little extreme for smoke. But you get my point. Now you can dial in a little bit more realism by adding just a subtle bit of blur to your shot that's only being affected by the luminance values. Now you're like, well, how do I know that's true? Well, let me use a different smoke effect to kind of illustrate what I'm talking about here. Let's find something. Yeah, let's use this clip right here. This clip right here has this huge puff of smoke here, but there's a lot of black area here that's not being affected. So let's go ahead and use that. Let's drag this into the timeline. And I'm going to go ahead and switch my compound blur from my original smoke element to this new one. And I'm going to pull this down so there's more smoke in the shot if I, uh, yeah, I want to pull this down to the, there we go so there's a there's quite a bit of smoke but still a big black empty space so I can really exaggerate this to show you what I'm talking about now my compound blur is now set to that element so if I go ahead and I maximize the blur here look at this you know this is extreme this is you know 225 you're never going to do that most likely but as, as you can see though it's only affecting where my smoke is right here is where the black is and right here's where the smoke is so the blur is only going where the smoke is going so it's actually occluding your vision just enough to help sell the fact that, hey, there's smoke in this shot. So if I go ahead and I double click on this, see, there's the smoke and there's the black area. So based on luminance, this is the only area being affected. This area is not being affected. And there you go. This is the area being affected. This is the area that's not being affected. Pretty cool. Now, obviously you would never do that unless you're looking for some kind of weird, creepy uh, vapor ghost thingy, but hey, all good. If that's what you're looking for, that's how you can make that effect real quick. Now let's go ahead and uh, put this back to where we had it, move this back down to our original smoke layer, and of course dial this back down to something less ridiculous, let's do about two, and turn our smoke layer back on. Now, what if you want something a little bit more creepy? We've, we've already shown you how to composite it. That's it, we're done, and if that works for you, catch you later, thanks for watching. But if you wanna change the color, it's super, super simple. Just highlight your, your pale solid here, go under layer, solid settings. Again, if your dialog box is over your video, this makes it very difficult to see, so go ahead and move it on over take your eyedropper tool and let's find a different color to invoke a completely different mood. Let's get this like lavenderish color going. That's pretty creepy. Now it's like early morning or right before uh, evening and, and you've got this like really creepy purplish blackish fog. It's like Jack the Ripper thing going on. So now maybe this alley is in London or something. You know, maybe you're invoking a completely different mood based on the color of this, the fog that you've composited. And again, your fog is only uh, blending where it's supposed to. It's not blowing out the footage. You're not changing the luminous values. And once again, you've got a much creepier shot and you're not uh, altering the image behind it. Super simple. And you know, 
You can do this all day long until you're happy with the shot. Just go to layer solid settings. And let's pick something else. Let's pick this red. Now you've got this red mist thing. More of an afternoon kind of effect going on. So it's really simple to dial in your, your effects, to dial in your smoke, just by punching a color through it using Luma Track Mat versus blending it. Again, if we were to take this shot and blend it, significantly different. Significantly different from there to there. Now if you want this white effect, you can absolutely get that. Just go ahead, once again, solid settings, and let's find just a white effect uh, you know, here in the shot. Or you can even pick your own. So if you're really wanting that over the top, you know, surreal white effect, you can get there using the same technique. That's not a problem. But you're not gonna blow out your footage here. It's gonna stay the same luminance value. So if you still want that white fog, you can absolutely get it. It doesn't have to be a color. See? So that's about it. When compositing smoke effects, just remember to drop your smoke footage into your timeline, make a new solid with a color of your choice, punch the color through the smoke using a Luma track mat, and then add a compound blur to your footage, and then boom, you've got yourself a killer smoke effect. It's super simple, but will help take your comps up to the next level. Once again, make sure to check out 4kfree.com. That's 4kfree.com. We're giving away hundreds of 4k style effects absolutely free. Why do we do it? Because we love you. You can use them in your projects today and tell your friends about it because we love them too. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. That's youtube.com slash rampantmedia. You can also check us out on Vimeo at vimeo.com slash rampantmedia. Follow us on Twitter at rampantdesign. Like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash rampantmedia. Or hit us up on Instagram at rampantdesign. We're all over the social spots on the interweb, so wherever you hang out, we're probably there too. Tell us what you think. If you want a specific tutorial, let us know and we'll try to get one done for you. We read each and every message that you send and can't thank you enough for all of your support. We cannot do this without you. Don't forget about 4kfree.com and most importantly that we love you. Until next time, I'm Sean Mullen for RampantDesignTools.com. Thanks for watching.